Twitter can be a scary place. With so many different people coming together in one location with little to no barrier separating them, it's no wonder the website is often referred to as the Internet Thunderdome. But while the idea of 330 million people constantly fighting might sound scary, the idea of them all coming together to agree on something is actually what's really terrifying. On January 2nd, 2021, Portland-based musician John Roderick tweeted a lengthy thread detailing the story of how his daughter just wanted to open a can of beans. Roderick saw this as a teachable moment for his daughter and uh, decided that she should figure out how to open the can of beans on her own. He goes into tremendous detail accounting for her entire journey through trying to figure out how a can opener works. And there's just something really odd about the tone Roderick takes in these tweets. It sounds like he's describing teaching his child how to ride a bike, but he's also kind of bragging to her apparently about how the beans he's opened in the past. It's all really strange. Either way though, it didn't take long for most of Twitter to take notice of him. This could just be looked at as an example of questionable parenting, but something about the string of posts gradually drew the attention of every corner of Twitter. The moms, the religious, the anime stands, the social justice warriors, every corner of the internet was all being drawn to this man who was soon only known by the moniker of Bean Dad. Everyone had a personal take on Bean Dad. Everyone was analyzing Bean Dad. Everyone was tearing Bean Dad down. And due to Bean Dad's weird phrasing of things, there were actually quite a few good memes that came out of this. Twitter had their attention focused on Bean Dad like a laser. And it wasn't long before there was a reaction. People started scouring through the old man's tweets and you probably know how the rest of the story goes. They found some tasteless jokes in Bean Dad's past, a lot of them. The man had something of an internet following due to his own podcast, but more importantly, his music is actually the intro to an extremely popular podcast called My Brother, My Brother and Me. But within 24 hours of the Bean debacle, the podcast had already started to distance themselves from Roderick and had actually started removing his music from their podcast. And it wasn't too long after that, Roderick just outright deleted his entire Twitter account. I think egotistical shitty parenting is one of the few things that could draw all of Twitter's attention. Even if you have a decent relationship with your parents, you can still recognize and have an opinion on someone doing not a great job. People came to either scold Roderick, show concern for his daughter, or just to meme, but all that attention faded pretty fast, and within 24 hours, no one was really even talking about it anymore. And that's all it takes, really. The whole world is starting to recognize how quickly the internet can change your life, for better or worse. A lot of people started talking about being dead because they were worried about how the guy was treating his daughter, but I have a feeling that her father's public shaming may end up leaving a much larger impact on her life.